We're setting up another biochar burn and uh, just wanted to show you what it looks like inside. We packed a bunch of hardwoods down into this 55 gallon barrel and on top of that we're going to put in a bunch of loose wood to create a little fire above it and then we'll put on our little our stack system and we'll get it going. Boy, that'll light. Yeah. Now, throw it in through the top. Yeah, it's on. I think. Oh, yep, yeah, it's on. So this is the stuff we did the last time. Oh, that one's not quite done. Oh yeah, that's going good. Yep. And does it go off on its own, or do you have to put it out? No. It was hot after three and a half hours. That's what I was thinking of doing it today. It's cold. So we still got some fire in here, which is a lot like a wood stove. After a while the flame kind of goes out and you just have really hot burning embers. And that's pretty much how it'll burn until it's all charcoal. Up here you see you got no smoke, which means it's catalyzing. And we're burning the gases off the wood. We'll come back in about three hours and see how it is. See around the We can tell it's getting hot because around the edges it's turning black. And it looks pretty even, a little hotter on this side. Yeah, doing good. Okay, it's been about two and a half hours since the biochar has been going, and it is not supposed to be smoking like this. So something is wrong. I'm guessing either there was some wet wood at the bottom or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two stacks off, take a quick look at it, and then put the put a lid on it to close off the air, and then uh, we'll look at it tomorrow and see how it did. take a quick look um, it doesn't look like it burned down very far and there is a lot of ash so something definitely went wrong this time okay so our fire has cooled and snowed on top of it <laughs> so let's see what we got So 
someone had looked in here before and pulled one out that wasn't burned. It was smoking before I put the lid on it. Um, so I don't know how far down where we are, but the stuff on top here looks good. The last burn we had, we had uh, about 75%. I have a feeling this one wasn't allowed to burn as long. And we got a little good biochar in here. So there you go, that's how easy it is to make your biochar. What we'll do is we'll clean out the stuff that's good biochar and get this rest of it ready to burn again.